Zdravo zumeri i zumerke i dobrodošli u još jedno uređivanje. Kao što ste mogli da vidite prethodnih dana, Otvoreni Balkan inicijativa bila je jedna od glavnih tema na našem portalu i na društvenim mrežama. Razlog za to jeste zajednička saradnja između našeg portala i Community Reporters iz Albanije na priči prekogranično i za koju smo dobili i nagradu prošle nedelje u Sarajevu, gde smo analizirali šta je to Otvoreni Balkan i šta je ono što mi znamo i ne znamo o ovoj inicijativi. Nekako u skladu sa tim, ove nedelje je specijal uređivanja u kome razgovaram sa kolegom Brejdonom koji je sa mnom radio na ovoj priči, zajedno sa našim novinarima Borivojem Nikolinom i Marinom i sa njim ću razgovarati o tome na koji način se Otvoreni Balkan inicijativa prikazuje u srpskim i albanskim medijima kao i na koji način se izveštava o odnosima naša dva naroda. Hello, Braden, and welcome to Zoomer. Hello, thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure. Uh, first of all, uh, of all, let's start from the beginning. Uh, in the last month, we had the opportunity to uh, work together on uh, this uh, article. Uh, so can you tell us, we know that in Serbian media, uh, there was no uh, information about uh, open Balkan uh, that are not from our government and uh, their officials. So basically all we know about the open Balkan, we heard from Vucic, uh, Zaev uh, and uh, Edirama. Uh, what is the situation in Albania and uh, did, you have, did you have more information about the Open Balkan initiative in your mainstream media? So, in Albania, it's like the same there in Serbia. We only know uh, and we only have the information from the government. All the medias here are using the press release from uh, uh, the government institute regarding to the agreements that have made done by Open Balkan from three countries, North Macedonia, Albania and Serbia. Uh, no one has been uh, uh, doing uh, uh, any analytic uh, article regarding Open Balkan. They just all uh, have been republishing the the article from the government. So we have been the first uh, media in Albania that we have conduct uh, uh, a deep story regarding Open Albania. So for us, we didn't know any information from the government what is going on and how will we uh, continue this open Balkan. Only, uh, it was only case that we have uh, uh, write this article. So we don't have any information from the government. Um, can you tell us more about uh, your audience? Um, what was the uh, reaction on uh, this story in uh, Albania? Uh, so far, we have published the story in uh, in local language, in English and Serbian and all uh, the Balkan language. Uh, we have uh, selected our audience that it's uh, from uh, 18 years till 35 years old. And from now we have like uh, 400 uh, likes in the Facebook page uh, from the story. We have some comments. And they say all oh, that this, this is just for the Rama, it's not for the people. So they still don't believe uh, an open Balkan. And I think I think in Albania, uh, the only who believe uh, the open Balkan, they are only from the businessmen and from Serbian community who wants to have uh, like a free way uh, doing like businesses in uh, Serbia or North Macedonia. For the youth, uh, they still want to go in Belgrade or North Macedonia just for having trainings uh, or, yes, just having trainings or working in the civil society's NGO sector. They are not seeing like three countries both to, to live or to create a life, for example, in North Macedonia or Serbia or in Albania. They are seeing three countries just for the trainings, in my opinion. About the, the narrative in uh, in your media, uh, for example, we had some uh, examples in uh, Bosnian media that uh, Bosnia, as we know, is not part of the initiative yet. 
and uh, some of uh, their media were covering the story in uh, a narrative that uh, they are against it because of, uh, uh, let's say, a fear for growing influence of Serbia in the region. Uh, do you have some uh, narrative like that in Albania that it's uh, it, uh, it 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 will be the greater uh, influence from Serbia, etc. in in your media? We had we have some uh, show like night shows that are panelists from Kosovo. They are speaking about Open Balkan as a as opportunity for Serbia to be here in Albania. Uh, regarding influence, but I don't believe this. Uh, I think that uh, uh, any the media here, it's not speaking about influencing uh, uh, Serbia influence in Albania. Open Balkan is like a, a way, a, a free way for the people and businessmen to to do business. But the media here in Albania, it's not speaking uh, uh, for the influence of Serbia. There are only a few of them. They are mostly analysts from Kosovo that are thinking that uh, Serbia is influencing Albania. But still, we didn't we didn't see anything uh, uh, about this. But still, the people who are uh, living here and never travel abroad, they're thinking that might have been influenced from, uh, uh, from Serbia to Albania. So uh, in our case here, we don't see any media doing uh, influencing. As we can see in uh, in those uh, articles, we are talking about the the influence and about the something that are, let's say, our politicians are um, having in mind when uh, they started the, this initiative. Uh, what do you think? Why uh, Bosnia and uh, uh, Montenegro and Kosovo doesn't want to participate uh, in this initiative? Let's start from Kosovo. Uh, both we know that uh, Kosovo won't be in Open Balkan because Serbia don't want to recognize Kosovo as an independent state. This is the main reason. But uh, in Kosovo we have uh, another government who is very, uh, let's say, nationalist. They don't want to do like agreements like this in uh, for the Open Balkan. But we know that uh, Kosovo has has some agreements regarding with Serbia, regarding the food and uh, uh, transporting goods. For the Bosnia, I don't have uh, like any information, but I think the, they have. Uh, in my last visit, they have more Turkish influence than Serbian influence in Sarajevo, for example. And I don't want to be in this part. Montenegro, they, 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 they was in the first meeting uh, with uh, uh, three countries, but they, uh, they didn't want more. We have to see what is going on in those days, because we have another government in Montenegro. And we have to see what they have, what they have to do in the future, because we have, we are, in a, we are in the border with them, and this is like easily way for both countries to transport their goods or moving the citizens. Still, in open uh, in old Balkan, we can travel with ID card, for example. Um, so let me ask you uh, something about uh, our situation at this point regarding the war in Ukraine. Uh, some article stated that uh, the war in Ukraine in some way can be uh, a test for the Open Balkan because uh, Serbia uh, didn't put sanctions to Russia, only condemned the, the war. And it's a fear that um, Russian, uh, uh, that they can uh, use let's say, Serbia to enter to the market uh, in North Macedonia and Albania. Uh, what uh, What is the um, situation and narrative uh, in Albania regarding the Russia war and regarding the, um, let's say, uh, that fear that uh, Russian influence uh, can come to uh, these countries through uh, Serbia because of the open borders? So... Uh... When the war started, all the countries have been made sanctions against Russia. 
uh, in Albania, yes, because we are part of the NATO and uh, uh, Albania put a lot of sanction uh, for the Russian. Uh, but still, uh, after this, uh, they have been uh, uh, speaking about Open Balkan for the Serbia, because Serbia didn't yet uh, was against the war, and now they have uh, a proof, or they have said that we are against the war, but they didn't put any sanction. And the fear is that uh, uh, Russia can come in Serbia uh, and they can fight Kosovo, for example. And after this, they uh, Serbia puts uh, some like they they close the borders with Albania to to transport the goods. Even that we are in open Balkan, uh, we have to close the borders with uh, with Albania because uh, we want to, the produce to be only in Serbia, for example. And people here started speaking about this. Why Serbia did did do this? Because we are part of the open Balkan and. We have to, uh, to transport the goods from each country. This is only the fear. But the the next the regarding the war again, uh, Albanians still are thinking that uh, Serbia must do more uh, for doing sanction, for example, because they have afraid uh, they they can start the third war in the world, for example. The war can be in Balkan. And this is the only fear they have the they have the people. They still believe that the Russia and Serbia have have good connection with uh, each other, and they they can start the war. I don't know, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you for that answer. Um, I will only. Um ask you something about uh, the topic that was uh, one of the main uh, points in uh, in our uh, article we we made together it's about the social distance between uh, serbia and albania uh, in serbian med media we had a lot of uh, fake news about the situation uh, in uh, kosovo about the uh, attitudes of uh, some politicians from kosovo from uh, albania and it's, um, uh, in a way, our media, uh, some part of our media, of course, uh, it's uh, creating that uh, uh, hatred between uh, the two nations. Uh, do you have uh, that type of st uh, stereotypes uh, in Albanian media? And in what way the Albanian media covered the stories about the, the Serbs and the, the Serbian nation? Uh, we don't have... Those those kind of medias who are doing uh, propaganda or uh, uh, fake news uh, regarding the Kosovo and Serbia or Albania, we have a good uh, we have a good connection with Serbian uh, state uh, as Albania and Serbian, and we only have few uh, fan pages that are not like uh, a regular news magazines uh, or websites. They are doing uh, clickbait more. Uh, like, for example, uh, 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 Albania, Kosovo is Albania, then they are not part of uh, Serbia or similar like this. But we don't have this kind of media in Albania who are doing propaganda. There are only fan pages in Facebook that are using uh, fake news just for clicking and clickbait. You know that social media now has been uh, a very uh, good position to earn money, and they started doing fake news just for clickbaits and to be on the top of the readers. But we don't have uh, in the real media, in websites, and uh, we don't have or televisions. We don't see this kind of uh, fake news. Normally, they are uh, websites or similar to this that are doing uh, mostly the fake news. But they are not using uh, like this, uh, doing like stereotypes or disinformation. I said you, there are only fan pages that are not concrete uh, media. They are not media. They are just fan pages in Facebook that have a large audience and that are doing this kind of fake news. But still, I said you, we believe and we have a good connection with Serbian state like regarding the uh, stereotypes. We have some story in the past, but we have to speak and we have to break the stereotypes.
Thank you, Braden, for uh, for all this uh, information. And uh, of course, thank you for our uh, joint work uh, in the last month and uh, for all the help uh, you uh, provide us uh, during the, the research about the Open Balkan and about the Albanian uh, and Serbian cooperation uh, regarding this uh, initiative. Uh, hvala i uh, vama, dragi gledoci, što ste i ove srede uz uređivanje. Uh, ova sreda je bila malo drugačija, odnosno još jedan specijal. Mi to volimo kada je kada su takve, takve vesti i takve situacije u pitanju da uradimo specijal uređivanja, tako da smo se ovaj put osvrnuli i na to šta je zapravo inicijativa Open Balkan i šta ona za nas znači. Nadamo se da smo svojim istraživačkim radom malo doprinali boljem razumevanju a, svih onih izazova koje smo imali i na kraju krajeva da će biti malo drugačija situacija u budućnosti i da ćemo imati a, i više informacija kada je ova inicijativa u pitanju. Ostanite u Zoomer, moje ime je Nemanja Marinović i uskoro vam donosimo mnogo novih zanimljivih priča.